Greetings. This is Adam Rafferty, funky fingerstyle guitarist from New York City. And in today's video, I'm going to address the topic of bringing your acoustic guitar on an airplane and how to do it safely and how to not spend a fortune doing it and how to not get your guitar broken. By the way, this is my Mate and Michael Fix guitar, which I really have to have this thing arrive in one piece at a gig. So I've had quite some experiences with that over the years. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any upcoming videos. Head on over to Facebook and click the like button because I like when the like button gets clicked. Let's get on with the 10 talking points here. Point number one, airlines kind of suck. Now their job is to make money and one of the things they do to make money is they charge extra for baggage and they are looking to see how they can do that. And sometimes they really charge a lot. Okay, now I believe they made something like 70 or 80 billion, that's with a B, billion dollars in 2017 alone just on extra charges. So the point is when you go in with anything that looks oversized or extra or strange, they're scanning you to see how they can make money. And even if the person behind the desk seems very nice, all the sweet talking in the world won't do it. They will call their manager and get tape measures out and argue, argue, argue. So point number two, past performance, whatever you've experienced doesn't mean anything in terms of what you're going to experience the next time at the airport. Like flipping a coin, it can be head 10, 10 times in a row, but if that next time you flip it, it's a 50-50 if it's going to be heads or tails, okay? You might say, well, I always put it in the overhead or I put it in the closet or like I check it and nothing's ever happened. I've had every positive experience happen more than once, but it's unreliable. It doesn't guarantee that it's going to happen a second time, even if it's the same airline at the same airport. The only airline that I've had really consistently good experience with is Southwest Air in the States. I can put a hard shell guitar case in the overhead. I do not get weird looks. I'm pretty sure that that's standard with Southwest. Every other airline, keep watching this video. Point number three, are you a professional player who needs their main axe, their main guitar, or are you just going on a vacation and you'd like to pick a little bit of guitar? Let's say you're not a professional player and you have a beautiful handmade acoustic guitar. Uh, you may want to consider getting a travel guitar. Now I'm going to I'm going to show you one of my guitars that I've got here. I have a Yamaha frame guitar. This is just my vacation guitar when I'm not on tour. It's quiet. It This thing unfolds. It's actually called a silent guitar. I have two of them. I have a nylon and a steel. This piece comes off, okay, and it fits in a, in a really small guitar case. I'm going to go get the guitar case and show it to you. Okay, so here's the guitar case for a Yamaha silent guitar. Uh, that's my travel guitar. That way, uh, I don't have any stomach acid regarding a main guitar getting broken, and I can kind of take some chances with, with the travel and the packing. I don't have to pack as though I'm going on tour. It doesn't have to be a silent guitar, but you know, maybe you can buy a less expensive acoustic guitar like, you know, they have Yamaha guitars under 200 bucks just for when you travel. Leave your nice guitar home. That's something to consider. As far as travel guitars go, there are also a, a couple other really cool options. You can get a carbon fiber guitar, which is indestructible. It's impervious to weather changes and it will not crack if it's thrown around. You could even drop it on the sidewalk. It'll be fine. There's a company called Rain Song that makes them. They're not cheap, but they're they're pretty cool, and they sound great. And there are also some backpacker uh, type fold up 
guitars that you could get for travel. The company Stonebridge slash Furch, that's one company, they make a little backpack guitar called the Little Jane. It literally uh, comes apart and packs nice and small if you're going to be traveling. Point number four. I'd like to direct your attention to exhibit A. I've got a second camera here. See this thing? It's a box, as you can see. It is not, not a guitar case. If you are traveling domestically, for example, within the USA, why don't you pack your guitar and ship it to where you're going? Avoid the whole airline problem. Now this internationally will be a problem for you because of customs and all that kind of junk, but if you're traveling within the 50 states, that's a pretty good option, okay? Shipping the guitar. And these boxes, you can go to a music store such as Sam Ash or Guitar Center and you can just ask the guys, hey, do you have an extra guitar box maybe? And maybe they'll give you one. Because if you buy these at like the UPS store, they're real expensive. So I'd ask around at a music store. I've got about three of these in my basement so that I can just ship guitars when I need to. Point number five. One of the things you might be able to do is gate check a guitar. Gate checking is when you don't check it with your luggage, but you bring it with the baby strollers and wheelchairs and you bring it right up before you get on the plane. Somebody gingerly puts it into the cargo hold and then gingerly takes it back out. You usually get a different color tag. Uh, you have to be careful with that though because in order for the airlines to squeeze money out of you, they'll look at a guitar and say, oh no, 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 we won't gate check that. So that is Russian roulette. I don't know if you're going to be able to gate check it, but that is a possibility. Point number six, buy a seat for the guitar. If it's in question, if you've got to bring that valuable guitar, you know, maybe buy a seat for it. I know Clive Carroll, great player from the UK. I believe he flies on Ryanair or EasyJet or the, these sort of discount airlines in Europe. He just buys a seat when he comes to Germany. That's not a bad way to go. Then, then there's no discussion at the airport because sometimes the seat will be cheaper than the extra charge. So now let's take a look at a soft guitar case. This is what I've been using for years for my acoustic guitar most of the time, but it's problematic and the airlines put you in a catch-22. They'll tell you soft cases are permitted on board but then they'll say, well, you have to have an instrument in a hard case because if there's no room, then we have to check it. So if you bring it in this soft case, they might tell you you have to check it. And if you bring it in the hard case, they'll definitely check it. So it's, it's really like a circular logic thing. A soft case like this one that you see on your screen is also problematic because it's very wide. And if you're on a small plane, it is too big to fit in the overhead. Tip number eight. This is a typical hard shell case, nothing special about it. Um, this is a guitar I never played that somehow ended up in my possession. It's an Ibanez acoustic. I literally, I've never played it. I don't know why I even have it, but maybe one day it'll be a travel guitar. This case is an absolute problem. You cannot trust this. Never check a guitar in a hard shell case like this. It is not protective enough, okay? Period, out. Tip number nine, what I've got here now is a case by a company called Hiscox, H-I-S-C-O-X, and this case came with my Maton guitar. This is a pretty darn tough case. I gotta say, it's molded, it can, it can really protect the guitar. There's only one drawback I've found, that this metal lip here, if it gets hit sideways, uh, the case might not close quite right. Okay, so this can withstand a lot of hits from a lot of different angles, but that is some kind of a, a design issue. I, I wish they would fix that. Now I'm going to open the case because I want to I want to show you what I've done in the case. As you can see, I have some bubble wrap around the headstock of the guitar and then also down by the butt end of the guitar. And that's just regular bubble wrap. I got it at an office supply store. I really recommend immobilizing the guitar, 
The headstock is where the guitar most often gets broken because it rattles around. So this is kind of like having a seat belt for your guitar so it, so it doesn't rattle in the case. That's good to do just as a matter of course in any hard shell guitar situation. This next guitar case that I'm going to show you, I used faithfully for about 10 years. It's the safest guitar case I can think of. The company is called Case Extreme. It's a really interesting design. It's like a coffin that goes around either a hard shell or a soft shell guitar case. So it's an added layer of protection. And before I open it and show you, uh, you'll see there are these C-shape foam clamps that you can put outside the guitar case. Basically, it's the same way that like an LCD TV is packed in a box with styrofoam. It's suspended so that if it takes a hit, it doesn't even get near the guitar. Okay, so I have my soft case in there, and then you can see like a, a piece like this would go around the guitar. I actually built a little extra foam into it personally. Now, these have served me really well. I love them. Uh, there are a couple drawbacks. The last two times I flew, they got their tape measures out and they said, nope, that's two centimeters too long. And I had to pay an overcharge. They're really safe though. I've never had a problem with a guitar in one of those cases. But now that they've consistently charged me for oversize, I went ahead and bought something that you'll probably only want to buy if you're a pro. Let's take a look at this last guitar case. This next guitar case, it's from a company called Visisnut or Visus Nut. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. These guys are based out of Thailand, but I bought this from a dealer based out of Germany. Classical guitarists use this. This is made out of a space age fiberglass type material. It is super duper protective. And as you can see, it looks like a guitar, you know? And so I'm, I'm looking at the case on the floor right now. It looks like a guitar. I'm not gonna get charged oversize and I'm pretty confident checking this guitar. I think this case is gonna take a beating just fine. It's super lightweight, the clips close great, but this is really only if you're a pro player. This case cost about a thousand euro, which is about 11 or $1,200 US, so that's, that's pretty expensive. But that's because I wanna take my main guitar with me to play my concerts. All right, point number 10. Let's say there's a worst case scenario. You've checked a guitar and the guitar is busted up. Something, something happened to it. Okay, so first thing you gotta do is when you're getting your guitar, if you've checked it, you have to open the case and check it at the airport, see if anything's happened to it, okay? And if anything has happened to it, take photos right away with your phone, document it, and uh, go right to the customer service desk or baggage desk, file the complaints. They're gonna try to get out of it. You're gonna have to be persistent. Uh, there have even been cases, uh, I believe Don Ross, one of my buddies in Partners in Crime as a guitarist, I think you know, some crazy airport worker like opened a hard case like what I just showed you and actually damaged his guitar on purpose just to be like, like vandalism. So crazy stuff does happen. So you've got to document that and, and prepare yourself for battle and get ready to post all over Facebook and Twitter if, if an airline has done you wrong. My best suggestion is get a guitar that you're okay with if it gets smashed to bits and travel, travel with that. One last little point, I'll show you a neat guitar that I have. Back when I used to play jazz, I had these expensive archtop guitars and eventually I got this nifty Yamaha guitar on eBay for like 300 bucks. And it's thin, as you can see. And that became my touring jazz guitar because I was sick of dealing with the stress of archtop Gibson guitar from, you know, some vintage year. So anyhow, God bless. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them below. I'd love to I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to maybe get some tips that I don't know about. So, good luck on your travels. Take care. All right. Thanks for watching.